In this lesson, we will walk you through exactly what you need to do to build a pipeline to send data from a REST API to Snowflake. We need to include the data from the e-commerce website in our data warehouse. Let's build a pipeline. Click Build and choose Pipeline, then choose Create a Pipeline. The new pipeline window opens. Enter all required details, name, and description. And make sure the data collector engine type and start with blank pipeline is selected. After entering all the details, click Next. Check the authoring engine and click Save and Open in Canvas. The canvas will open to build the pipeline. The first thing we do is bring in the origin. So you will search the HTTP client on the stage and select it to display on the canvas. Move to the HTTP tab and replace the existing resource URL with the API address. Select mode as batch from the drop-down list. Go to the data format tab and make sure the data format is JSON. Click show advanced options, then select JSON content as JSON array of objects. Next, we will bring a processor called Field Masker to our canvas. We use the processor to mask user credentials. In this example, we will mask the username and password fields in the data. Now add the Field Flattener processor to our canvas. The processor can flatten the entire record to produce a record with no nested fields. Or it can flatten specific lists or map fields. In this case, we want it to flatten the entire nested fields. Leave the default name separator and continue. Finally, bring in your Snowflake destination. As with the previous pipeline, I use an existing connector. Make sure you have the warehouse, database, and schema information. Then enter those details here. We will make the table name different from the previous pipelines. Give a meaningful name and make sure you click Auto Create Table to let the pipeline create that table for you. Move to the Staging tab and provide Snowflake Stage Name. Let's validate and preview the pipeline to make sure everything looks good. When the data is pulled from the API, the user credentials, username, and password are masked by the field masker. Then the field flattener flattens the nested fields. Now that our pipeline is ready to start, close the preview and go to the Draft Run dropdown and select Start Pipeline. The pipeline is ready to read and write data from origin to destination. We have successfully built a pipeline that can read data from the REST API into Snowflake. This allows us to include the e-commerce data in the data warehouse. Thanks for watching.